Hey, good Thursday morning, everybody. Uh, Chief Meteorologist Brad Penovich here. We're watching a powerhouse cold front on the way to the Carolinas that's going to bring, at the very least, some heavy rain and some really gusty winds. The severe weather risk is pretty low, though, overall, and it's really not a major concern for our area. But I'll show you the system. It's pretty potent. I mean, look at this thing. It's building back towards the west. You can see some cold air on the, uh, the northwest side of the system. And I'll show you the severe weather outlook because you can see the area just ahead of it today, we've got this area in red, which is going to be the higher risk. The medium risk is going to be in uh, orange. And then you've got this low risk, which includes the Charlotte area in the Western Carolinas. But it's really going to be a weakening line of storms that heads our way. I think the real concern uh, tonight and really early Friday is that we've got some really strong winds. Uh, we call this a low level jet that'll be cranking up. These winds are around 5,000 feet. And when we get heavy rain, they can tend to mix down to the surface. So we could see wind gusts that could easily be around 35 to 45 miles per hour, even outside of the thunderstorm. So that's why we're worried about this potential moving in. So let's kind of break down some of the setup here about the strong winds, because if you've got anything outside today uh, that's not kind of strapped down or tied down, you may want to do so because tonight these winds are really going to pick up. The first thing I want to show you are the winds. Now, these are these what we call low level winds at about 5,000 feet. We call them 850 millibar winds. So they're really bright colors here. And I'll, I'll probe these real quick just to show you. So this is not the surface. So don't immediately freak out. These are winds that are around 5,000 feet. So you see this area in purple. It's 60 to 80 mile an hour winds, 60, 40, and then around 50, you know, back in this orange kind of shade. So let's go through time. We'll go into tonight. Um, you can see the front approaching. Winds will pick up. So remember the mountains, you know, a lot of the Blue Ridge peak up to around 6,000 feet. So these winds will intersect the mountains first. That's why you're seeing wind advisories and high wind warnings for the mountains. Now, if you're in lower elevations later tonight, after about seven or eight, you start to see some of these strong winds above our heads. And this is the type of wind you will hear. You know, you've probably seen events like this where you hear a roaring sound or you hear the wind, but it's not super windy down at the surface. Um, this is that type of wind. But if we get rain to move in, look at these winds around 5,000 feet. You know, 70 to 80 mile an hour winds at 5,000 feet. Those winds mix down to the surface. You're going to see some really strong wind gusts. And around midnight looks to be the worst of this. And then the front moves through and you can see the winds calm down. So what does this look like on the radar? Well, let's take a look at that. So the radar, if you match it up with the same time frame, there's our, our line of shower storms. Again, if we're going to see some significant severe weather, it's going to be happening to our west um, this afternoon and this evening. But as we get towards about 5 p.m., um, local time. You can see that line starts approaching the mountains really closer to about 10 p.m. So in the mountains, your strongest winds and heavy rain could start as, to, as soon as 10 p.m. So that's when you need to be ready for this. Now the line is weakening. That's good news. So we're not expecting severe thunderstorms. We're really expecting strong straight line winds from that low level jet, which is going to mix down. You see the line really does weaken into the overnight hours. This is right around midnight. We'll go to 1 a.m. 2 a.m. It's really falling apart, but it's not going to take much. Remember, just the um, the act of rain falling will mix these strong winds down to the surface. So between about 10 p.m. and I would say about 5 a.m., we're going to see some really strong winds move in, and then the front will push off to the east, and then it will try to perk back up. But by this time, it's going to be moving offshore. But the whole time this is moving to the east, it's likely going to produce some damaging straight line winds. And what kind of winds are we talking about? We're talking about peak wind gusts likely in this range. So you can see around most of the Piedmont, this is Charlotte right in the middle of the screen, wind gusts could be between 35, 40 miles an hour. Some areas 45 to 50 and in the mountains, you're seeing some gusts that could be above 60 to 70 because remember, the elevation is going to put you right in that low level wind. So that's what we're watching today. Strong winds moving into night, some brief heavy rain, not a widespread severe weather risk, but the wind with the front is going to happen regardless. So what you need to be prepared for overnight tonight is really strong winds with the front moving through. They won't necessarily be severe thunderstorm warning winds, but you're going to see strong winds. So any tree branches um, that you're worried about, you might want to park the car away from the trees. If you have anything that you know that usually blows over, uh, patio furniture, umbrellas, even portable basketball hoops, um, those uh, trampolines, which tend to blow around, secure everything because the wind's coming in tonight. They're going to be the real deal. Of course, I will post updates throughout today and into tonight. Have a great Thursday and please be safe.